Hi, this is Lisa Loves to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you part two of my spider. And this one is a spider with light and see that if you can see that little light in there and with googly eyes. So what you're going to need, and this is going to be a recap of the other of the other video. What you're going to need is some black yarn. I'm going to use gray instead of black because it's too hard to show up. And then I'm going to use red for the color. And then you're going to need some black pipe cleaners for the legs or whatever color you're choosing. You're going to need a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, a eye crochet hook, and the eyes of your choosing. You can use all kinds of things. So you can use a googly eyes, which is what we're going to use for, for this video. The other videos, I used these and their little lights. And they have this little tab in there. And they're pretty bright, but they don't have an on and off switch. So I keep the little tabs and I just put it back in there when I don't want it lit. And that's what the eyes are on this black one here and this pink one over here. And then you have um, this spider back here has those gems for your eyes. And there's different colors of the gems and different sizes to put for the eyes if you want to use those. And then for the light inside... I purchased these, I purchased the lights, all of the lights, all of those and the eyes all off Amazon. Um, these are tea lights and I can't remember what these ones are called. Um, so these ones you just kind of twist and they turn on. This one's red, if you can see that. And so let's get started. I'm going, we're going to start with the red. And we're just going to make a magic loop. Here, let me move my camera a little bit here. Start with a magic loop. There's my magic loop. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to put eight half double crochets in that magic ring. Oops. And I'm just going to continue to do this all the way around with eight half double crochets in the magic ring. Okay, so I have the eight in the magic ring, and I'm just going to tighten that magic ring. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning, chain one, and I'm going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around. And this, this stitch, I only do one half double crochet in with the chain one space, and that counts as my two. And then, so I'm just going to continue to do two in each of the next stitches around. Okay, so I've completed that round, and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to cut my working yarn and I'm going to pull up after that chain one and make that a knot. And then the next round, we're going to start with a gray and I'm going to make a slip knot on my crochet hook. And then I'm going to start with a single crochet. In this first stitch and then I'm going to that was just how I attach with a single crochet and then I hold those two ends and then I'm gonna put a half double crochet in that same stitch like that and in the next stitch I'm gonna put a half double crochet And 
and then the next stitch I'm going to put a half double crochet and then I'm going to put two half double crochets in the next so I'm just going to continue with one half double crochets in the next two stitches and then the third stitch I'm going to do two half double crochets and this is all the way around whoops Okay, so I've completed that round. Remember, two half double crochets in one stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And that, that pattern is repeated all the way around. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then I'm going to chain one. And in the next round, I'm just going to put a half double crochet in that first stitch, and then one half double crochet and each stitch around okay so I've completed that round and you can tell it's kind of taken the shape and so I'm just gonna slip stitch to the beginning and then I'm gonna chain one and in the next round I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease so and then the next stitch I'm just gonna do a half double crochet and then the next stitch here let me move the next stitch I'm gonna do a half double crochet decrease And then on the next one, I'm just going to do a half double crochet. So, and that's going to make it go rounded like a little body. And I'm just going to continue this pattern all the way around. Okay, so I've completed that round. And I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then I'm going to chain one. And now would be a good time to stop and weave in your ends. Because it's just going to get a little bit smaller. Okay, I've got my ends weaved in, and I'm just going to do another round of a half double crochet decrease, and then a half double crochet in the next stitch. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way around this round. And I've gotten to the last stitch, and I'm just going to put one more half double crochet, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And I'm going to chain one because I don't want to make sure I want to make sure that my light that I want to put in there will fit in that little hole and they always stretch so I just want to slide it in and that fits so I'm going to cut my working yarn after my chain one and pull that yarn through make that a knot so then I have my little my little light in there if you can see and so that's basically the start of that and then I'm gonna put that little patch on there make it like a little pocket so let's get some more gray here and I start with a magic loop again and I chain one and I do a half double crochet in that magic loop and then I add seven more half double crochets to the magic loop. So I'll have a total of eight half double crochets. So there's my little patch. I'm just going to pull the center tight and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. Chain one. And then I'm going to do two, a half double crochet in the chain one space and then I'm going to do two half double crochets in each of this, the stitches around just like that all the way around okay so I've completed that that round 
and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning, chain one, and I'm going to cut my working yarn leaving a longer tail. And then I'm going to pull that yarn through making that a knot. And then I'm going to weave in my end here and I'll show you how I attach this to the body. Okay, so I have my tapestry thread with the long tail and I have the both those ends weaved in and I'm going to set the patch or the bottom part of the, it'll be like a little bag and I'm just going to try to find where the seams line up and you don't have to do that but that's just what I do and I go insert my hook in between the stitches and then I just go around on the outside of the loop making sure I weave it in back and forth so it becomes a little pocket and I'll go in the next stitch and then I'll kind of go in between here like you're weaving in an end and pull up those loops and I push it back through that loop just like that and then I'll go into the next and do the same thing and I'll just continue that all the way around until it's closed as much as I want it to be closed remember you have to leave an opening to get that light out so I can turn it off and on. But I, I always make sure it stays the center around as I can so it looks like it's just part of the body and that you can't even tell. Okay, so now you have just the body and you have just a little flap that you can pull open and take the little light out. You know, you could put a little button on here, but I don't, I don't think I will but you can make it your own and then so I have the body done and you have the light in there and you can see kind of sort of see it in there and then so that's the shape of the body of the spider and then now we're gonna make the head and I'm gonna get some more gray yarn and my googly eyes and I'm going to start with a magic loop and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to put eight half double crochets in the magic loop again. So I'm just going to continue to do this and I'll see you at the end of this round. Okay, so I have that, that round completed. I'm just going to pull the center tight and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning and then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to put a half double crochet in that same stitch I came out of. And then I'm going to put one half double crochet in one stitch, that first stitch. And I'm going to put two half double crochets in the next. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. So when I get to the end, I've repeated the pattern and I'm just going to do one half double crochet in that one stitch. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to put a half double crochet in that stitch. And then I'm going to put a half double crochet decrease in the next two stitches. And then this is where I attach the googly eyes. And what I do is I take the googly eyes and I lay it over the stitches that I'm going to work and I'm going to start with a half double crochet decrease so I'm not going to go on the stitch I just came out of I'm going to go on that next stitch with a half double crochet and then the next one I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease so I'm going to grab it and then go into the next stitch and then you're going to have a bunch of ends to weave in. And so that's what it looks like. And then the next stitch, you're going to go in that same stitch that you just did a half double crochet decrease. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease. You can see that. And then the next stitch, I'm going to do a half double crochet. And then I'm just going to repeat the pattern 
half double crochet decrease half double crochet half double crochet and then I'm gonna slip stitch the beginning and I'm gonna chain one so this is what your googly eyes look like for the spider for the head rather with the googly eyes and so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna weave in the end and I'm gonna stuff this you don't have to but I'm going to okay I put a little stuffing in there I might want to add some more so I'm just going to do another half double crochet decrease I'm gonna to try to close this up and then I'm just gonna do another half double crochet in the next stitch do another half double crochet decrease half double crochet half double crochet decrease I'm leaving my finger in there so it holds the stuffing from coming out and it makes it easier to maneuver with my crochet hook around that that's what I found anyway another half double crochet and then I'm just gonna slip stitch to the beginning the opening is quite small and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to leave a longer tail and I'm going to cut my work and pull up make that a knot and I have some space that I can add a little more stuffing not a lot but I can add a little bit more and then um, so I'm just going to stuff some more into the head And then I'm going to thread my tapestry needle with the uh, end and I'm going to tighten this loop. Okay, so I'm just going to go in in between the stitches and in between the loops of the stitch. And I find that that will be tight enough to tighten up the uh, hole or the opening. So I'm going to knot it and then I'm going I'm not going to cut my end. I'm going to just give me a little knot just so it has something that that's that's done with. And then so now I'm just going to insert my hook back into that seam or the next opening and I'm just going to push my needle to the back of the head. And there's, there's your spider head with the googly eyes. And I'm going to take the body. I like to leave the opening to the side or to the back. So this is how I'm going to set it up. I'm going to attach the eyes or the head with the eyes just the same what I do is I take my tapestry needle and kind of insert and in through some of the stitches and I take the body and I go about the same level about at the the middle part of it and I'm just gonna take and go in between some stitches kind of like you're weaving in an end and I pull the tapestry and see it's attached but it's not done so I'm gonna have to go back in and I weave back and forth until I have it secured for what I think is a good secured part of it. And so I'm just going to weave it in back and forth, getting more stitches every time. So I try to keep them as even so I can keep watching him. just as I keep going so lay him on the table to see how he looks he looks pretty good 
So I'm going to weave in my ends and I'm going to uh, start to show you how I attach the legs again. Okay, so I have my four pipe cleaners that are black. Now you can change this and make this any way you want, but I'm going to go in two stitches from the head and I'm going to go under those stitches and to the other side. And I'm going to measure it to the, they're the same length. So you can kind of see that they're going to be the same length. And then I'm going to pinch it here. Now you could stick some hot glue under there, but I think it's just too hard. Now halfway through from the, the legs, I'm going to put another little bend to bend it down. And then there's, there's two of your spider legs. And then the other one, I'm going to go two stitches from that and I'm going to stick it behind and under the next two stitches. And I'm just going to pull it up and do the same thing. So you can see that they will be level. And I'm going to pinch it at that end. And then I'm going to take it about halfway down. I'm going to bend it down. So there's, there's half of my legs. And then now for the other side, I'm going to take and I'm going to go right straight across and making sure I count two stitches from this side. One, two, and then I still going to go in there and it's, so it's kind of even across. So you just kind of eyeball it and I'm going to pinch that leg right there again, making sure they're even. And then halfway down, I'm going to bend them down. So you can kind of see that and you kind of got to spread them out a little bit so you can make it look like, and then, so the other side, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go two stitches over and then go under no, underneath those next two. And I'm just going to pull that out and then make sure that they're even. And then I'm going to pinch at the base again, and then I'm going to pinch halfway down. And so there's my googly eyed spider. So you can do anything, make the colors you want, make it unique, make it yours. You want the lights that for the eyes, those are off Amazon as well. Remember those look like those little balls and they have the little tabs. They're pretty bright, and so I just keep them in there from when I want to keep the lights off and then when I want to have it on, like at night. Remember, this is there's purple. I think this is another purple, different color. This one is red. I don't know if you can tell. That one, that one is red. And then this one is blue. And then he's got the bright eyes as well. And then this one is a green. And so you can attach them to things. You could put them on your computer. You could put them on a backpack. Um, there's lots of places that you could do them for Halloween. And so um, there is the googly eyed spider with lights. The other ones are just... Um, spiders with lights, I guess. So thank you for watching part two. Like and subscribe.